morning, good morning. Good morning, how are you doing today? Oh, I'm wonderful. How's everything with you? Everything's very good. Yeah. Just getting started here. Yeah, absolutely. So how would you feel yesterday went? I had such an amazing time, I have to tell you. Yesterday went very, very well. Um, had a lot of, lot of action in the booth. We sold a lot of guitars. I think uh, a lot of people liked all the new product. Awesome. Was there anything that people were particularly interested in that you thought? Um, I'd have to think about it. I think the distressed the USA line went very well. I think uh, the new mahogany guitars, mahogany USA went very well. Uh, the dime, uh, dime cemetery gates guitar. Um, our guy damaged did the graphic work on this. Uh, back at uh, Dean headquarters. Um, basically, it's a cemetery gates theme. It has some of the lyrics to the song. Uh, we have the gargoyle. And I don't know if people know this, but gargoyles are really. To, they look over a house. They don't, you know, to scare away evil spirits. And I kind of looked at, you know, Daryl that way. Great guy. And it's wearing uh, Daryl's signature razor. Yeah, this is incredible. I just can't believe the more that you look at it, you can see so much detail in it. Oh, yeah. From hell on the gates. Chained to the gate. And um, Dimebag's image is actually in here subliminally. And I don't want really? to point it out. But it's in the image subliminally, oh, wow. and um, it's the kind of thing once you see it, you can't help but notice it. And, uh, so even the the back, I mean, this is just this is gorgeous. This is all, um, you know, granite look. But I, you know, people can go online and look at the guitar and and try to find uh, the dime bag image in it. But he's 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 watching over uh, his uh, one of his famous songs. Wow, that's really, really cool. What a beautiful guitar. So tell us about this one. I think this is pretty cool, too. This is the, uh, I'm sorry, the uh, Razorback 10K. And the 10K is to commemorate selling 10,000 Razorbacks. Wow. Um, you know, one thing about Dean is we always have to come out with new models and new body styles. Um, or we have, and this is one that Dime brought to the company. Uh, we don't rely on selling the same guitar that was designed in 1952 or 50 or like some of our competitors We've been able to innovate and come out with new body styles that that sell and the, uh, the You know that this is this is uh, celebrating 10,000 Razorbacks sold Which is the guitar was introduced three years ago, but it's really been only shipping for two years So this is the uh, diamond plate Razorback uh, this, this is a guitar that's not new, but this is the uh, War Camo, the Dimebag Daryl. It's got his favorite number, 333, on it. And, you know, sometimes at NAMM, sometimes at NAMM we don't necessarily feature guitars that have been out for a year or so because we're, we always have so much new stuff, but this is really a beautiful guitar that really deserves to be seen. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Absolutely. You can see it's sold. People are really buying these guitars like crazy. This is hand airbrushed. I mean, this is not not just a graphic. I mean, we really have a, an artist who paints every every square inch of this guitar. This uh, Michael Lobedio, uh, probably one of the world's greatest guitar players. Uh, this is his model with us. He was so nice too, by the way. Mike's a great guy. But uh, look at the graphics on this thing. This is beautiful. Wow. These are just starting to ship. These are now being made in the USA factory. We have a brand new USA plant down in Tampa, Florida. Now, um, tell me about some of your acoustic guitars, too, because we didn't really check these out yesterday. Well, Dean has quite an array of acoustics. The, the Florentine cutaway is new for us. And uh, we're also known, yeah, well, Dean acoustics are known for the um, kind of exotic bridge. And. Wow. Beautiful woods. Very beautiful. That's really the Dean trademark. And you know, acoustic guitars, I don't know if you walk into music stores, but you see a, a whole line of relatively boring looking guitars. Yes. And us being more rock based, we've, we've always put a, a, a better face on an acoustic. And that's really been the success. How come I can't say that word? <laughs> that's been the success of our, uh, our, our acoustic business for, for the past uh, seven, eight years. Yeah. It's really making very pretty acoustics. And That's also, gorgeous. a good value. A Dean Acoustic generally is, you know, more affordable than the competitor. 
Well, that's the thing that's so great about Dean in general is, you know, you don't have to kill yourself to purchase one. You can get a really high quality, well-crafted instrument without going completely broke, you know? This is true. Let's, let's walk down here. There's some more. Uh, okay. Wow. These are actually acoustic basses, which, once again, we're, we always uh, we probably have the prettiest acoustic basses. Yeah, this, look at this. This is gorgeous. The neck. This is a quilt ash. And this is uh, the mamba bass. <laughs> Uh, famous snake, uh, or snake made famous in Kill Bill, the Black Mamba. Yeah. You well, would like that. I, yes, I would. How do you know? <laughs> <laughs> you know me too well. I just, uh, I just, wild guess. Yeah, yeah so, uh, if Emmett, our, our, our prize cameraman, can scan up this. <laughs> Look at the back, though, they're pretty. You know, just blonde. Wow. I like blonde. Blonde is good. Blonde is okay. You can't go wrong. <laughs> And you have some mandolins over here too, as well. Oh, by the way, there's the, there's the mamba guitar. Oh, wow. I can't play. Tune like a violin, that's why. Yeah. Such a beautiful sounding instrument, a beautiful looking instrument. For all our, our rockers are coming unglued right now watching this. <laughs> um, we do make jazz boxes, though. Oh, yeah? Yeah, Palomino's. Wow, oh my yeah. gosh. The John Pool special. John Pool's uh, head of. Um, I love this. He's our national sales manager. He's a great player, and he, yeah. he's a big fan of the uh, soap bar pickup and, wow. the, and the jazz type guitars. So he really is the one who inspired us to build these guitars. Just gorgeous. Wow. Thank you. I love how much attention to detail you put into not only the design of the guitar, but but the graphics, the way it looks. It's just amazing. Blonde again. The other side of Dean. Yeah. <laughs> We've got split tails. This is kind of exciting, by the way. You know, these are these guitars, you know, because our booth is so big, some things do have to get parked in some dark areas. Mm -hmm. But this is the imported version of the split tail, and this is going to be a huge guitar for us this year. Because, um, now, the split tails uh, up till now have been like, you know, three, four thousand dollar guitars. Mm -hmm. And now um, this is something that pretty much everybody can afford. So these are uh, pretty exciting. These are brand new at the show. Now, is this a brand that um, that Dope plays? Um, you know, no, Dope. I don't think. Maybe, yeah. but um, the uh, the guy who probably highlighted this model the, the most this year is uh, Chris Caffrey in Trans Siberian Orchestra. Okay, gotcha. He has one with a, I think it's in the booth somewhere, but with a wizard painted all over it. It's really a gorgeous guitar. Wow. But uh, a lot of our um, our fans, you know, Dean enthusiasts have been asking for this guitar, one that, one that they can afford, so. Yeah. In 2008, Dean delivers. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, well, we were here talking with Virus um, from Dope, just in this exact spot yesterday, and actually, oh, yep. Oh, Virus' wall. Yep, yep, so that's what I was thinking. So that is why, um, that's actually part of the reason I got into Dean Guitars is because of Dope. I was always a big fan of theirs, and then my band went on tour with them, and they sound so huge live, and the guitars just so sound so meaty and so gigantic, and I was like, God, I want to sound like that, and it's because they all play Dean Guitars. Everybody, everybody wants to sound like Dope. <laughs>